My name is Cynthia Ogden. I'm an epidemiologist and the N. Haynes Analysis Branch Chief at CDC's National Center for Health Statistics. It's important to monitor trends in obesity because obesity is related to many health conditions, including diabetes, hypertension, and cardiovascular disease, to name just a few. And we know that obesity trends in the United States um, were rising during the 1980s and the 1990s, but then appeared to level off um, for about a decade and more recently. And so we wanted to look at trends in obesity. We, would, we basically wanted to see what was happening most recently with the newest data. And so our objective was to look at trends in adult obesity and extreme obesity among men and women from 2005 to 2014, over the, that decade. We use data from the National Health and Nutrition Examination Survey, or NHANES, which is a, a great national survey in the United States that has measures of weight and height, among many other things. And we use data from 2005, 6 through 13, 14. And we had about 2,600 men and 2,800 women in the most recent survey. And over that whole decade, we had more than 13,000 men and 13,000 women to analyze and to look at trends. And we used uh, um, a regression analysis to look at the trends over, over the decade. Over the decade from 2005 to 2014, there was no change in obesity prevalence or extreme ob obesity prevalence among men, but there was an increase in obesity prevalence and extreme obesity prevalence among women. Today, or the most recent data for 2013-14, 35% of men have obesity and about 40% of women have obesity. And the prevalence of extreme obesity was 5.5% in men and almost 10% in women. One of the interesting things we found that was among Asian men that the prevalence of obesity was 23% among young Asian men compared to 6% among middle-aged Asian men and 4% among older Asian men. And it's a fairly big difference and I think deserves uh, some more attention to understand uh, why and to explore those differences more fully. It's very important to continue monitoring trends in obesity. And our overall finding over the, the decade from 2005 to 2014 was that there was no change in men in either obesity or extreme obesity, but there was an increase among women in both obesity and, and extreme obesity. And it's important to continue monitoring trends in obesity and extreme obesity in the United States. The next steps in, in this research are to to look at, to really dig down and try to find out why we're seeing some of the trends we're seeing. Why are there different trends in different populations in men and women, for example? And to look more at some of the differences we see, as I mentioned, among Asians, among young Asian men compared to older Asian men.